Okay, so we are going to create an Adobe Premiere project to marry our image sequence to our audio. So you want to make sure you call it something that makes sense. And you save it somewhere that makes sense, preferably in your project folder. So you'll find that. Uh, I'll say okay. I'm overwriting it because it's already there. Okay, so file import. So we're going to bring in our image sequence. I'm going to bring in our sound. So grab my sound. And it'll show up in my bin here. And then I'm going to import my video, which is an image sequence at this point. You can straight up use the video if you want to, if you've already made it through um, encoder. But I'm going to grab the first image here and check on image sequence. That lets it know that it's not a standalone image. You've got a series of images. that will add that. And if I scrub over it, it'll show me the video. The thing I need to be really careful about is what did I animate at. So if I right click on this, it brings up a menu. I'm going to modify interpret the footage. What this is doing is it's changing the frame rate. So it's assuming 2997 because that's sort of the digital standard, but we didn't animate on that. I believe this is animated on 30. So I'm going to assume this frame rate. So you need to check Maya and see what did you animate at 24, 30, be specific because it will change the speed of your animation. So I'll say okay. And then I'll pull it into here and it'll generate a timeline. I've got my video and then I will grab my audio and toss it in here. You can position it wherever it needs to be, but it's probably going to be at the beginning, depending on what you did. And test it for playback. I'm going to be thick. So if you find that you have the wrong frame rate, you can change it. Modify interpret footage. Um, so if this was actually done at 24, I can change it. It'll lengthen it, and if I go, oh no, that was wrong, go back to 30, and it'll shorten it. Um, just make sure that you just play the video itself. Um, you may see that if you change your frame rate, you get a little extra at the end, and then you can trim it. So you can trim the beginning and end by just clicking and grabbing if you need to. To export, uh, we'll go to File, Export, Media. I have this timeline selected. If I don't have it selected, it won't let me do it. So make sure you have the timeline selected. And we'll do H.264, matching the source. It should automatically do video and audio. Make sure you're saving it with a name that makes sense, somewhere that makes sense. And Export, Loop. So I'll think for a second, and then you can go dig out your video. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be thick. Bloop. There he goes. All right. So that way your audio matches your video, and everyone's happy. Because while he's not talking, your character will be. So you want the audio. You don't want to have to sync up two different files at the same time. All right, hope that helps.